I'm Cindy with Nomadic Snowbirds. Today I'm going to make pickled jalapenos. I made a batch about a month ago, really not even a full month ago, and I've already eaten them. So I'm going to make another batch and I want to show you how to do it. It's very simple and 100% different and better than any you can buy in the grocery store. So to begin with, um, I have a cup uh, filtered water in my pan. Uh, we use filtered water because we live in the RV and we just feel like it's safer for us to consume, to cook with, and for our dog. Uh, add to the pan a cup of white vinegar, two cloves of crushed garlic. I'm actually going to use three because one of them wasn't as large as what I prefer. And all you have to do is just take the end of a knife, give them a good crunch, and then put them in the pan. And that does add a lot of flavor. Then you want one tablespoon of salt. I think this, there it is, a lot of moisture. Okay, oops, okay, a tablespoon. <laughs> I'm totally the inaccurate chef. <laughs> and then one tablespoon of sugar. And that is all you have to add to your pan. So after you get this all mixed up, you're going to boil it. But before I start boiling, I'm going to slice up these peppers. Uh, I have a pound of hot peppers or jalapenos, and I'm going to slice these. And it recommends that you do them pretty thick. And actually, after doing this once before, I found I do like them thicker because they're wonderful to put on anything with a tortilla. They're great with egg dishes and uh, wonderful on sandwiches, if you haven't ever tried that. So rather than bore you to death with slicing up a pound of these, I'm going to uh, do that and then I'm gonna come back. But first I wanna tell you, leave the seeds in. When you pickle them, they're not going to be too hot. And uh, whatever you do, don't touch your eyes or your face until you have washed your hands completely. Uh, and maybe even after that, don't do it for a while, uh, after slicing jalapenos, you'll get a terrible burn. So let me slice these things up and I'll be right back. Well, I got the jalapenos sliced. And while I was doing that, I turned the heat on to the vinegar water with the clo garlic clove, sugar, and salt in it. You bring this to a boil and then you add the jalapenos starting to boil. So... I'm going to turn off the heat and add the jalapenos. Like I said, be careful about touching your eyes or your face with this on your hands. This recipe is also perfect for uh, pickling cucumbers, just fresh cucumbers, and uh, onions, especially purple onions if you like those. So just the exact same recipe and method. Uh, this is supposed to last for two months in the refrigerator after it's prepared. And um, it didn't last long enough for me to find out if that was accurate. And then you just stir that into the hot sauce. Smells fabulous. I need a taco. <laughs> Alrighty. So I'm going to cover that and let that sit. I'm going to cover that and let it sit for eight minutes. And then we'll be back and we'll put it in the jar. Those jalapenos are cooling off. I have to get it cool enough so I can put it in the jar. So I've had the jalapenos cooling in the pot and um, now I'm going to put them in the jar. I'm going to use the sink for any spills or mishaps that I may have. Got I preheated the jar so it won't be as sensitive to the heat. And I'm going to use my funnel to first put in all the juice, all those beautiful seeds. Uh -huh, that's what I'm talking about right there. <laughs> Definitely going to have a mishap. And then I'm just going to use these, put it back in there. And that little hole was there for a reason. <laughs> I'm going to try to put them in the jar. I haven't tried doing this with the um, onions or the cucumbers yet, but that will be my next thing. The smell is wonderful, but if you get the 
steam in your face, it'll choke you. <laughs> I found these at the grocery store. So as with any vegetable or fruit that I get at the grocery store, first I soaked it in cool water with some um, baking soda. It helps to get off any of the pesticides or anything else like that. Okay, just one minute and I'll be back with the final product. Okay, I finally got all the jalapenos in there. A little bit of a mess, but I got it done. <laughs> um, then I'm going to seal this up while it's still warm. And once it cools, I'm going to put it in the refrigerator. I'll put a label on it the date that I made it so I can see how quickly I eat them or when it's time to throw them away, which that's not happening in this house. So I really recommend you give this a try and it's an excellent recipe. You'll never go back to store-bought if you try making these at home. Very simple and delicious. Have a good day.